This is question 12 from worksheet 8 um, in the LO2 notes for Engineering Math 3. And here we have um, another um, integration to be solved by substitution. And this question is a little bit trickier than some of the other ones we've looked at. It's still very solvable and the integral it gives us is not particularly challenging when we get to that point. But there are a few steps along the way, one in particular we need to be aware of. Now, we're fortunate that we know it's an integration by substitution. Um, that's how we know to begin here. And so we're going to deal with the most difficult term for our substitution. And that um, hopefully should be clear is a three plus root x in the denominator of our expression. We'll take u is equal to three plus root x. And we're going to substitute that into our expression. So we'll integrate between four and one, two over u dx. But of course, as ever, we need to replace our dx by du. So we're going to have du by dx um, is going to be zero plus, um, we'll have a half x to the minus half, which is the same thing as um, one over two root x. And we've covered this in, in a previous video why it's the case, but x root x is x to the power of half and taking the derivative, we multiply by half reduce the power by one down to minus a half. And so we have the dx is equal to two root x du. And of course, if we're changing from dx to du, we need to change our limits as well. So we are we have limits of four and one. So if x is equal to four, <coughs> u is equal um, to three plus root four, which is five. When x is equal to one, u is equal to three plus root one, which is four. So these are our new limits. So we can put in our substitution for dx and our new limits into our expression, our integral here, and we have five and four. We still have two uh, over u, and we have um, dx equal to two root x du. And at this point, <clears throat> if you're carrying at this normally, you've not encountered one of these problems before, it may be tempted to think, have we actually got any further forward here? And the answer is actually yes, because we can go back and use our substitution again. We can be clever about this. <clears throat> so we know that u is equal to three plus root x. I'll write that again down here. Uh, u is equal to three plus root x. So rearranging, we can find an expression for root x in terms of u, and that is root x is equal to three um, is equal to u, that's the right way around, is equal to u minus three. So we can substitute this for our root x in our expression here. That's exactly what we're going to do. So um, we're going to have integral of five over four. Now, the, the two stays, so we've got two times two here, so that's going to be four over u. But the root x, we're going to replace with u minus three. U minus three like so, du. And we're very close to something we're quite happy to integrate. Expanding out this bracket is going to give us 4u minus 12 over u, du. And okay, this isn't something that we can um, integrate straight away, but this is equal to 4u over u minus 12 over u. We can always do this with a fraction. If we have something added or subtracted from the top, we can split it into two fractions with the same denominator. And hopefully we can see that the fraction of the, the left-hand side of these two fractions is just going to become four. It's four u over u is four, minus 12 over u du. And we can integrate this and we will, we're putting our square brackets up because we're going to be putting in our um, uh, limits um, of our, of our um, interval shortly. We're going to have four integrates to four u and minus 12 u integrates to minus 12 log u. And that's just a standard integral. And we integrate these between the values of five and four. So putting in our numbers here, we're going to have uh, four times five, that's 20 minus 12 log five minus four times four, well, that's 16 minus 12 log four. 
And we could take several more steps to tidy this up, but everything is numeric at this point. Um, and we can put all of this into our calculator. And doing so gives us an answer to three decimal places of 1.322. Um, but of course, if it's uh, helpful to your calculations, you can take several extra steps to tidy up these terms in the brackets, but as they're all numerical, we can just put that in a single um, series of operations in our calculator, and this is the answer we get to three decimal places.